Hi everybody! This video is on the topic of teaching your little dog or puppy to go inside a carrier or a backpack and then be carried around. This is useful for so many reasons, one of them being that you can transport your dog safely in the car and at the vet. If you have a little dog that's worried about being at the vet, you can bring them inside their carrier. This also um, is great for cats to train them this before they go to have to go to the vet and then be in a carrier at the vet. But also for puppies, it's a great idea to bring your puppy to the vet in a carrier or a backpack or a baby stroller so that they're not in contact with the floor. Of course, you can carry your little dog or puppy, but sometimes it's great that the dog can take a nap inside of their crate and turn around and relax. So if you had to have the dog in a carrier or crate for a very long period of time, it's important that the dog can turn around and lay down comfortably. So these options are a little bit too small for Tug, my terrier, even though I'm going to demo with him. They're a great solution for a temporary vet visit. I bring Tug to the vet in this, and then I can unzip the top so he has this lovely little safe zone where he can take a nap while we're waiting for our vet visit. When I was in Japan doing some seminars, my hosts and friends gave me some amazing gifts, one of them being this amazing backpack, which has been a lifesaver for me because Kiko, my little chihuahua, is 16, and I like to walk all my dogs together sometimes on hikes, and sometimes it's just too much walking for her, and this backpack allows me to take her and she can have moments where she walks and moments where I carry her without having to hurt my back. And I've just really enjoyed having this backpack in my life. It's made my life so much better, so I'm greatly appreciative for it. If you have a dog that's extremely worried about going inside the crate, even if there are treats in there, perhaps the dog had a bad experience, you can first teach the dog to go to a bed or mat and then put the mat inside the crate so the dog has a reinforcement history and you have a cue to tell the dog to go to the mat. Or you can also get one of those crates that you can take the top off of so it's just a base and work with that first. Are you ready, Tug? So I will link a video in the description below on how to teach your dog to go to a bed or a mat and then relax on it like that. Good job. You can also have a release cue for coming out of the crate if you don't want your dog to just come out as soon as you unzip it. Per perhaps your dog isn't on leash and you want to put your dog's harness on first. So I have the cue free, which means to get up and come towards you. Teaching a dog to go to a mat is also great for training many different types of tricks, including this one. If you taught your dog the cue, go to your bed, you can then use the same cue while the bed or the mat is inside the crate. Are you ready? Go to your bed. And then you're going to mark and reinforce your dog for simply going into the crate with the mat inside. I already have a video tutorial of how to teach go in the crate starring Halo, one of my border collies as a puppy before he knew the cue. So if you want to see the video with a dog that hasn't been trained yet, it pretty much looks exactly the same, except I go more into detail of the steps of how to get the dog to go in the crate and what to do if things go wrong. Are you ready? Tug free. So one way of teaching the cue get to go into the crate is to throw a treat into the crate. Tug wants to eat it out of my hand. And then as the dog goes in to eat the treat, you can mark yes or good or click and then give multiple treats for the dog staying inside the crate. So the dog might be standing up and you're just giving multiple treats and then you can use your release cue free and then invite the dog out of the crate. Good job. Anytime the dog offers going into the crate, I would take that and reinforce it. There's some behaviors you don't just want to mark if the dog does on their own, but I find that this one, marking when the dog offers the behavior is a great idea. Are you ready? Tug free. Awesome. Go in your crate. Good boy. Good. This is Kiko's backpack, and she's going to go in like this. Good job, Kiko. You can train going in the backpack the same way that you train going inside the crate. Good job, Kiko. It's handy to have a crate where you can zip the top open like this because then you can reinforce the dog 
for closing the door, and it's not as scary for some dogs because they're not completely confined. They can still see you through the top, and you can interact with each other through the top while the door is closed. And then you can close the top and open the door and then close both. So they're getting used to both of the doors being closed. Good job, Tug. And you wouldn't, if you had a dog that's nervous about things moving, you wouldn't be doing this to your dog. Tug is a very confident dog because we've done lots of positive reinforcement training with lots of different distractions like these. OK, so I can feed him through the top, but I can start zipping it up. Good. And feeding him. So every time I zip, good, he gets a treat. So he starts to enjoy the noise of the zipper. Good. Good. And then I can let him out. Tug free. And he might not want to come out. Tug free. Good job. And then if he chooses to go in, the game can begin, or I can cue him to go back in. Good. 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 Tug free. Good boy. You can practice having your little dog or puppy in the carrier when they're sleepy, say in the evening when you're watching TV, and you can put them into their carrier next to you on the couch and get them used to being in there for a longer duration than just a few seconds. And they can get treats or maybe a chew for hanging out in their little carrier or taking a nap in their carrier if they're sleepy. So once you get to the step of them settling nicely inside the carrier, and I have a video on how to teach a calm settle around food that I'll also link in the description below. Um, but once you get to the point where the dog is just chilling inside the carrier, you can practice lifting it up. So if your dog is standing inside the carrier still, I would wait till they're laying down calmly because when you lift them up, it might knock them off balance and that doesn't feel good when you're standing up to have the floor move uh, underneath you. So um, I have the top open so I could lift him. Good, <laughs> and then give him a treat. Good. Now with the lid closed. Good. Good. Now we're going to practice walking around. Good. So one thing you can do is open the top before letting the dog out and just feed the dog and pet your dog calmly if your dog likes petting. If they were a little bit worried or confused as to why they were flying through the air. <laughs> and then when they've settled, you can let them out. If at any point though, your dog is panicking and they're trying to get out, I would immediately Put the crate on the ground and let the dog out and then go back to playing games of choice where the dog goes into the crate on their own. Because what you don't want to do is uh, with when you're training with positive reinforcement, um, a lot of people think, oh, if I let the dog out when he's scratching or whining or barking, then he'll learn to whine and bark and scratch for to be let out. But the goal with this training is to teach the dog to like being inside the crate. So when they like being inside the crate, they're not going to scratch and bark and whine because they enjoy being in there. You can also practice sending your dog to the crate from a distance. Ready? Tug, go in your crate. Good boy. Tug free. Awesome. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support my work, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. You can also become a supporting member of channel KikoPup by clicking the join button. Hi, wishy. See you later, guys. We're going to go play now, huh? You want to go play?